New at six, we are hearing from a local man who the FBI arrested yesterday for walking into the Capitol during the January 6th insurrection. These are pictures from court documents of him walking around the Capitol that day. 10 News reporter Vinay Simlot spoke to that man earlier today. There was a whole SWAT team dressed in the full body armor, helmet, machine gun, you know, a whole slew of them. Prosecutors brought four charges against Cliff Mateer for walking into the Capitol and demonstrating inside a restricted building. You know, I'm not ashamed of it. I'm proud of it. Yeah. Why? <sighs> this, when the sacred vote is stolen, you know, I mean, so, so brashly, I mean, it's up to us to, to say, no, this is our country. Multiple courts say there's no evidence that the election was stolen and federal investigators found no evidence of widespread voter fraud. Five people died either during or shortly after the riots. Whatever you feel about facts of the, the election and the voting, it seemed like the people in Congress were very scared of what was happening on January 6th. Um, wh what do you say to them? I would say that uh, perhaps there was a reason for, me, for you to be scared. You know, perhaps, you know, the guilt of stealing the election. On January 6th, rioters vandalized the Capitol, broke windows, and clashed with officers. Cliff Mateer is not charged with any of those crimes. The complaint shows pictures of him walking around the Capitol with a sign. He says he didn't know that's a crime. But there was no concerted effort to, you know, storm the barricades, you know. It was, it was all very church social. It was a bunch of old people, grandparents. I mean, they were saying, they, they were saying things like, hang Mike Pence, though. Wouldn't you be scared if you were in that situation? No? I don't really okay. get scared very easy. Okay. Mateer says he hopes he doesn't spend any time in jail. In Knoxville, I'm Vinay Simlot. Cliff Mateer has his next court appearance in Washington, D.C. next week. All four of his charges are misdemeanors. He could face up to six months in prison.